Okay, so now I have completely understitched the armhole facing, and now the next thing to do is to sew our side seams. So just as you normally would, you're going to put your right sides together on the side seams, but because we have the facing involved in all this, we are going to turn the facing up like this, and you're going to start pinning at the facing. Actually, start pinning at that facing seam right there to make sure that it matches. And then you can pin your facing. I always try to match any seams first when I'm sewing a, a side seam that has intersecting seams. And now you're going to sew your side seam starting up here and continuing down as you normally would and then you can turn in your facing. And the next step will be to tack your facing down at the armhole seam, or at the shoulder seam, and at the underarm side seam. And that's it. And the really important thing to remember with this dress is that on the left side seam, and that's the left side, your left side as you're wearing it, you will not stitch between the two large circles on the side seam. So, like here and here, you're going to leave open. And that's so that your tie can pass through on your left side. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to do quickly show you how to uh, tack your facings down. Um, if a pattern instruction ever tells you to tack your facings down at your side or shoulder seams, here's what you do. So here's our facing. This is the shoulder seam, this is the side seam. I have some thread here. I've threaded a needle with a double strand of thread. I'm just going to come up into the facing right here. Now I'm going to hold it down against the seam allowances of the side seam and just do a couple stitches through all the layers, but not to the outside of the dress, just through the facing and the seam allowance. And this is essentially a bar tack, because you're just doing a few stitches pretty much right on top of each other. I'm going in and out again. I'll do one more time. And then I'll just go in and finish up underneath the seam allowance. And here I will knot off my thread. And that's it. I'll just cut it off close here. And now it's permanently tacked onto the side seam there. And I'm going to do the same thing at the shoulder seam right here.